Pride will let pride swallow you. You can swat at a fly, but a fly only gets through you. The Kings of Space is a collective between four bands, which is The Foe, The Flumps, We Are Not a Glumlot, and Grant Saban. We, like, we kind of all come together anyways, like as a group and as bands and as artists and just to help each other out, just because we're friends, you know, we appreciate each other's art and we respect it. And we just kind of decided to give it a name. And we went through a bunch of things, combining the different band names and stuff. And finally we were just like, well, let's just be the Kings of Space. The collaborations are not really something that happens as a result of Kings of Space, but it's more that Kings of Space is something that happened as a result of the collaborations. Yeah, and uh, I don't know, I'm writing a song every day for a year, so there's always at least one song a day being written in this house. I'd say everybody else, at least somebody, writes a song like once a week. The, like, what we do as a group is based on what we all do as individuals and the fact that we all have drive to do these things. You know, so I mean, the group isn't the reason for doing anything. It's the, like, like I said, the, the things we do are the reason for having a group. In terms of just your guys' bands, the Kings of Space, the bands involved with, with the Kings of Space, uh, is there a kind of common sound that you guys have, or what, what brings your bands together? Yeah, I would say actually that the Flumps, We Are Not a Glumlot, and Rafo are all part of a similar genre. And of, Grant's the weirdo. I'm the weirdo. Yeah. Because I actually... doesn't play weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> floating around playing shows and it wasn't on like just a weekly Link basis yeah. and El Toro yeah. you know yeah 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 that's when things started to change mm -hmm. and it, it seems to me like what's going on is the scene is what it is you have uh, the front range tying together in ways where it's relevant like uh, you're talking about paleo and uh, you have uh, Laura Goldhammer coming down here and doing shows when it makes sense and I mean it seems like it, even all the way down to uh, Santa Fe you have a community that is uh, tying together in places where it makes sense to do so. Yeah. And um, I think that that's happening here in Colorado Springs. It's happening locally and it's happening effectively. But I think that, you know, there's nothing keeping that from being larger. And I think the connections to Denver yeah. and the connections to Pueblo obviously already exist. So to say that you're gonna try to like branch out to another city, well, I mean, you guys already go up and play shows yeah, in yeah, Denver yeah, all the exactly. time. Yeah, 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 there's play. people from Denver that come yeah. down here and they come to the, come to the helm and come to Charlie's Mansion and uh, the, uh, what, Cedar Street Garden now. And yeah. Almost every single time that a really great touring act comes through, they play at the helm in some way, shape, or form. And way. some of my favorite shows I've ever played have been there. Yeah, it's the most like hospitable environment for a musician. Yeah. And it's a really great audience of listening people that yeah. are they get really interested engaged. in listening to original music. And they still get drunk too, so it's yeah. All, yeah. <laughs> so it's still fun. Yeah. Just keep tuned into house venues because that's where it's at. Yeah, it is. It's more about the house venues right now, but um, those are a little more like private and exclusive than going to a bar. And there's still always shows happening at bars too. So. Okay, aspire to keep tuned in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> keep later. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Like yeah. after I went to the first house shows that I went to, we moved into this place and we, we talked a little bit about doing a rooftop show. Yeah, and then. Like yeah, we happened. needed to have a show and there was no place that we could do it. So we ended up doing it on our rooftop and it was really it awesome. Was one of the that I found you, I love you just as well. What I've noticed is that like everybody's, instead of like each band for themselves or each musician for themselves, everybody's like kind of like coming together well, as like a big group. And to me, that's what the Kings of Space is, is like kind of an incarnation, like a little segment of that. 